Hey everyone, my name is Odot Master and welcome to a different type of vlog. This is going to be a little bit of a nature vlog because I love walks. I go on them like almost every single week. Actually, probably more than every single week. And so I wanted to show you a little bit around Oregon. Not all of Oregon, but around where I live. So a little bit of a background on some of these pictures. Uh, most of these were taken probably about two or three years ago uh, on a hike when my boyfriend first moved down where he lives now. He lives in the middle of a gorgeous forest with a million different types of plants. And back then I actually had a good camera uh, rather than just my phone. So I was running around trying to take all these artsy shots, I think yeah, there's, here's the one with my boots. I was like, oh, this looks so cool, take this picture. It does look cool, but it was so silly to look back at. And then there was a couple, I'm not gonna have any with faces in it yet, unless he tells me I can. But there's a couple of us, like, another artsy shot, I should say, of um, me walking with a dog, and then probably a million of trees. I'm looking through them right now, I have a ton of pictures with trees and this is just what Oregon is I think it was in March last year no March two years ago because March last year we still had snow which is crazy but this is this is how gorgeous Oregon is there are so many trees there's so many plants I don't even I don't even know half of the names I don't even think anybody that I know knows half of the names of these trees and these plants and it's amazing the opportunity I have where I get to walk around and see everything the area that he lives in now they're right by a giant forest that the owner of the forest has told us hey as long as you don't make a mess you can walk through take pictures camp there just no fires no trash and some of those trails are probably tens, tens of hundreds of acres, or I don't know how many that is in meters for anybody that's not, that's not familiar with acres. It's a lot of land. And there's very little human involvement. There's the paths, but then past the paths, people don't really go anywhere. There's this gorgeous pond that isn't really pretty, I think, to anybody else I've talked to about it. But to me, it's a little pond in the middle of nowhere surrounded by blackberry bushes. And once you finally make your way through the blackberry bushes after getting scratched, because let me tell you, I got scratched. And you get to the pond and it's just beautiful. It's the, <laughs> the water is super, super clear unless you throw a rock in it. And then you can't really <laughs> see anything after that because of the mud on the bottom. There's small little fishes, there's lizards, there's newts. It's like this small little culture that's come together just in this little pond. So besides just the forest and the pond, um, I also wanted to introduce you all to my dog. She hates cameras. Um, she'll pose for them if you tell her to. Can I take a picture of you? Can you pose? Thank you. Can you do another pose? What, you gonna pose again? But she really truly hates them. Um, she'll either pose really, really well, or she'll run away, or she'll make a goofy face. And she knows there's a camera there. As soon as you pull out your phone and point it at her and stay perfectly still, she looks at you like, really? Are you doing this again? Uh, she's, <laughs> she's adorable. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but she's a German Shepherd and a Kita mix, and basically a Golden Husky. I have quite a few pictures of her tail, so I'll make sure to put one up so you guys can see the really cool curve of her tail. She also gets into everything. It's part of the Akita, part of the German Shepherd. Akitas are extremely intelligent and absolutely love getting into stuff that they're not supposed to get into, such as boxes. What's in there? What's this? What's that? <laughs> Come 
from here. I'm just telling you that this room is mine. Hi, you. Hi, you. It's yours, but it's not for you. It's not for you. Akitas also absolutely love to talk, and we've encouraged her to talk because it's not like a dog bark. can't tell she's a little old i think in most of those pictures she was it, it was within the last four years so she's about 10 or 11 years old she's right now turning 14 and i do actually have a picture of her and me on the uh first day we ever adopted her and it's crazy to look at the side by side difference of color because she's definitely the same orange everywhere but her face. Her face went from that dark black to this just bright white and it's so funny. Another one of her favorite pastimes is staring out of our window at nothing. Just staring, keeping an eye on everyone, making sure there's nothing going wrong. So that's one of my animals and the other one that's not really mine but I love her like my own is Dixie. Her name is Dixie, no matter what everyone else calls her, because apparently my boyfriend started calling her Dixieus Goddess of the Hunt, and it has just caught on. But she's this cute little kitten. She's, well, she's not a kitten anymore. She's about nine months old. And the reason I say she's not a kitten is she's huge. She's about the size of a norm, like a good sized dachshund or wiener dog. And she thinks that she's much bigger than she is. I don't have any pictures of her doing what I'm going to talk about next, but she does it all the time, apparently. So they live in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of deer. And one of the things she does is she, she'll go up and she'll crawl through the grass thinking she's so sneaky, and then she'll try and pounce on the deer. And the deer will just simply stand there, stare at her, or if they're really mad, which sometimes they do get a little mad, they'll stomp their feet at her and she'll just freak out and run away. She is an outdoor and indoor cat and she's actually, she just caught her first mouse, which is why she got the nickname. And it may seem horrible that they got a cat just to get the mice because that's really what she was for. But they have so many mice and shrews there that the standard of living for the animals are so is so poor. They break into the house all the time. They get into the garden and they're causing my boyfriend's family is a lot, a lot of trouble. And so it's just very frustrating. So they got a cat and <laughs> she is the most photogenic thing ever. Uh, my boyfriend's brother is a fantastic photographer. So the next couple pictures are gonna be of his as I'm talking about her. But she loves outside. She'll, she's almost like a dog. She basically is a dog at this point, <laughs> besides the hunting and climbing trees. She'll follow you around. If you get too far away, she'll start meowing really loudly like, don't leave me, don't leave me, and then sprint after you as fast as she can. She also loves climbing like just the bottom of the tree. Like she'll run up and she'll do almost like a wall jump off of the wall or uh, off of any flat surface. It doesn't just have to be a tree because she's done this off my car and she's done it off the side of the house. Well, she'll run up and kick her legs and then jump off. And she also absolutely loves boxes and when we first well when they first got her she was into everything and I think I actually have a couple videos of her getting into everything
So between the two animals and the nature, I hope you got a little bit more of an insight into my life and how cute everything is. I absolutely love Dixie. Every time I'm over there, um, all we do is play. And then I love my dog. She's been around since I was seven years old and now she's 14. So you guys got to see them, see my life. And so I'm going to do what I normally do and say thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below. Let me know how you liked me voicing over without actually ever seeing my face cam or talking or anything. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!